week on Sound Bites, a pizza party. I'm Chris Harrington, and I'm joined this week by Eric Barnes and producer Natalie Van Gundy, the latter of whom always chimes in, but usually inaudibly. This week, we are going to make her take a microphone. We will also have a written communique from roving pizza reporter Holly Whitfield. And yes, we'll be talking pizza in Memphis, our favorite spots, our favorite orders at our favorite spots, and more. But first, you can find all of our food stories and this show in podcast form at dailymemphian.com. You can also sign up for our weekly Table Talk newsletter. You can also catch sound bites, perhaps you're doing so right now, Thursdays at 11 a.m. left of the dial at WYXR 91.7 FM, your crosstown radio. Or you can subscribe to the show in podcast form wherever you happen to get your audio. And then it'll go straight to your phone. And if you're a Facebook user, we as always encourage you to join our Table Talk group there as well. What's up, guys? I didn't know you were going to say pizza party. I had to lean away from the mic. It was I was like, oh, it is a pizza party. So, but it written, was unexpected. I, in the written communique from Holly, <laughs> which I glanced over yesterday, she typoed. I assume it's a typo, but it's a fortuitous typo. Pizza hunt instead of pizza hut. <laughs> so we, we could call this a pizza hunt. I like hunt. this. I like that pizza hunt. A pizza good. hunt. Um, if, oh, if, I see it right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> If ever there were an evergreen food topic, a food topic that is applicable to all seasons and really yeah. all all hours of the day, um, it, it is pizza. Absolutely. All temperatures, all, all thicknesses. Um, so we did a podcast similar to this probably more than a year ago, Jennifer and I did. We had our top five pizza places. Um, my list will be different this time, in part because one of my favorite places has closed since then. And there are some that I've tried that I had not tried then. Um, but we did not have you guys on the record when we did that. So we're going to revisit the topic of pizza. We are not as super organized as uh, I might sometimes be. We have rough rankings I'm in I'm thinking place. myself as being very organized. I just wrote a lot of things down as you were doing the intro. So we have rough <laughs> rankings in place. All it's the of differences in how we approach yeah, things. Yeah, vari- you know? <laughs> various orders. So should we start at the top or start at, not at the bottom, but start at the bottom of favorites? Well, it depends on how. Because you ordered yours, right, Natalie? I what? Oh, ordered, I, you ordered yeah, I your thought list. you meant like I ordered. Yeah, my so one else. Like, oh my god! <laughs> I mean, it's, a pizza, like, it's literally a pizza party. That is what the that knock on the door so is. Right. No, well, I don't want to start at the bottom if I have more than y'all. Do you see what I'm saying? I do see mm. what you're saying. How many? How many do we each have? I, I got. I I, I got. I, I whatever. Five to eight, something like that. Yeah, I've got five to eight. I've got okay. four in. We're doing in town, right? I mean, we're talking about places in Memphis, of course. Let, yeah. Let's let's start but, at five. Anything, anything yeah. after five is an honorable mention. So let's start with your number five, and okay. then we'll go back to the other stuff if it doesn't come up. Okay, my number five is High Point Pizza. So High Point Pizza, that was a Jennifer favorite. High Point Pizza is a place I've only been to a couple times. I've never been there, so I don't, I'm, I'm yeah, not. I've only been there a couple the times. Spot. So so tell oh, us really? about tell us about okay. High Point Pizza okay. since it's on your list. It's not on either of our lists. Well, I used to go there frequently because I lived in the neighborhood and it's right off the green line and it's got the cutest, smallest little patio. It's actually a really small pizza parlor. Yeah. Um, And part of why I love it so much is the nostalgia of where I used to live going over there. But they have great specials outside of just pizza, even though this is pizza centered. Um, But another bonus is you can... It's almost like in a little alley. I know, Chris, you've been before, so you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Um, And if you go to the back of the alley, there's also like the smallest little bar in the world, um, not related to the pizza place. But it's just a fun experience going there. Um, Lots of neighborhood traffic, usually people with their dogs, and excellent pizza. And and they they have a deal where there's like a a butter crust or you can do some special butter garlic crust thing you can do. Is that right? I don't remember. I think that I think that's an option. Probably, there. I would take that option. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's a it's an interesting. It's would a. Would you like more butter? Yes. It's a classic neighborhood kind of place, which yes, I like, it is. and I love yeah. that stretch. Even though I don't go there that often, I love that stretch in that neighborhood because it is unusual among Memphis neighborhoods that there's a real sort of business restaurant component within a residential neighborhood. Yeah, that people in the neighborhood can just walk over there and walk back, and I love that vibe. And Memphis does not have enough of that vibe. And I never go over there, which is probably what they both love and hate. Right, if right, you're right. busy, like the neighbors probably love it because it's just there. Yeah. And lots of people don't go in there. But I actually wrote, I wrote down High Point Pizza. Yeah. All I right, will say, I've never been there and it wasn't busy, though. And part of that is okay. because it is so small. If you've got like three people in there, it's busy. Does High Point appear anywhere in Holly's stuff? I don't think it does. Uh, no. But when I told her it was on my list, she said, oh, put that on my list, too. So she forgot about it and wanted to bring it back in the loop. All right. Yeah. yeah see, yeah. I know I'm going to forget. You were do a quick number five on yours. Yeah. my I think my five based on the. 
unless I, I, could, I subject to revision, if there's something I really forgot, it would probably be Little Italy. Right. I, I really like Little Italy. Um, Little Italy was on my top five list last time when we did this. It has fallen into my honorable mentions only because they closed the Midtown location. Oh. And I, I don't know about the quality comparatively of the other locations. We used to get the downtown Italy, Little Italy pretty regularly in COVID, which is actually a while right. ago now. We haven't gotten it lately, but when we used to get it, it was great. I really liked it. Yeah. No so, complaints. So, so, and, and, and as good as the Midtown one and so on. I mean, Little Italy, great. you go pizza by the slice, you go whole pie. We were doing whole pie. Okay. And it was really good. Either way, it is a classic. Give you know lives up to their name. It is a classic New York style thin thin crust. Pick it up, right. fold it. It is yes. a classic pizza slice. For me at Little Italy, I really like to keep it basic: cheese or pepperoni. And I think they have the best. They don't have my favorite cheese pizza in town, but they have my favorite basic cheese pizza. And that the ratio of like the cheese and sauce is just right, where it sort of becomes pink. It sort yeah. of all infuses together. It's not cheese on top of sauce. It's like the cheese and sauce melts together and you little, with a little bit of grease yeah. sort of on top. Like, that's the good stuff. So I'm a kind of a freak where I, I like the plainest possible pizza. I, but I don't like, like, I don't want it to be bad or not. But Little Italy, what's your order? I like, yeah, I would be, I would either do a, I can't remember if they do a margarita. I think they do. Yeah, I would probably do a margarita or I'd do cheese at most with like, pepperoni or one thing yeah, yeah i don't yeah. i don't mind having a bite of pizza that's like a loaded like special pizza i like that but I, i'm only gonna eat like one piece of that yeah i i think for me especially when you get to the basic thin slice you know new york style pizza i like it simple yeah, yeah. and and i mean yeah that, that so i'm not good at like oh which one do i really like because it's always kind of i lean towards the same and then i have a little bit of leslie's and she'll get something a little more complicated Little Italy different. show up on your list? Little Italy was number four for me. Number four for and, okay. In part because they recently, maybe it's been a year or so, I don't know, but they opened a new location in East Memphis, which actually may or may not be connected to right, right, the right, others. Right. I know. It's, yeah. I'm not sure. But it's like Ray's in New York. Yeah, Still good, though. Yeah. Um, Little Italy, I believe, was was a, I think for some reasons it's me, Little Italy does not show up at Holly's stuff because of the Midtown boss, right? Did she, she mention that? She mentioned it. Um, she also said she... Burned herself out on Little Italy. I can see that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. So so my number five. Not their fault. It's not your fault, Little Italy. My number five is going to be one I'm going to guess is higher on other people's list, but we can knock it out now since I have it at number five. And it's only down at number five for me for two reasons. One, it is a second business by the same people. And two, it's not as user friendly in and out to me. So I have Hog and Hominy at number five. Probably better than the fifth best pizza in town. But to me, it's become less of like a pizza parlory kind of place since they've they've redone things. Oh, it's so fancy! It's so fancy now. It's so gonna wear. I got to think about what I'm wearing. It's, yeah, it's very overwhelming to go. The in menu there now. is not that much different, but the vibe is less of like you know roll up your sleeves and like it, it, and so it doesn't feel as much as of a pop in and get a pizza kind of place as it used to. Yes, but still great pizza, and I think the red eye in particular is a classic Memphis dish. Yeah. That's their. A red eye gravy based kind of sauce with the pork belly and the celery leaves and the, and the egg in the middle. That's a classic Memphis dish. You you have argued on me much higher, right? Yeah, it's number two. Um, but I also there we go. I also put it next to Little Betty. I mean, how it's the same, different location. It's not the same. It's totally different pizza. It's different style. I'm gonna, of pizza. I'm gonna fight you on that. No, you I think are. They are, they are different. It's obviously they, clearly like same ownership. similarities. Yeah, and so don't on, they? But, there's no, no it's a crossover totally different on the style menus. Of pizza. There's no menu. I mean, they both have like cheese pizzas or whatever, but it's a different style of crust, different style of preparation. These are very different pizzas. Okay, well, I'll let you have that one. Slap down. Well, they're tied for number two with me then because I love them both equally. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, Hogan Hominy was my number two. We'll table little Betty to. But I'm with you again, on the but. the vibe being so different. It's shockingly different every right. time. But to me, I love that kind of pizza. Whether it's again, we'll get like something that's kind of complicated. And I can't think of what, or and then like a margarita, and it's just really good. It's really, really good. I, and I do like to sit outside there on the right. front porch because you're a little removed from what can be like kind of overwhelming inside the number of people and the yeah. noise. I mean, good for them. It's not. It's just I kind of like to be outside. So you go margarita, sure. Much, much yeah, margarita. Yeah, I'm. Yes, they have a good fortune. It's the Quattro Formaggi. Yes, pizza, I've had I that too. It. It's great. And the other one that seems like it's like the red eye was there from day one, right? I feel like the other one that's sort of become a standard there is the um, Thunderbird. Thunderbird forty twice, which mm-hmm. is their what pepperoni with like the spicy. Um, it's honey. like the hot honey. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. good. That's really good too. So, so what's what's your hog and hominy pizza order? Okay, I 
love the Thunderbird, um, love the Red Eye, but I also love getting one of the seasonal ones that'll be on the second half of the the pizza menu. Yeah, 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 yeah. That they'll switch out every season. I don't go often enough anymore to know sort of what's 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 on the seasonal menu there. It's well, part of the part of the. It's my go to spot when I'm kid free. All right, so Hog and <laughs> Hominy is, was number five on my list, which is why it came up this early in the pod. Number two for Natalie. Number two for Eric. Yeah. Does, does um, Holly? I assume it shows up on Holly somewhere. It does. Holly says, okay, two pizzas that I love, but not always I'm in the mood for, so I consider them in their own categories are Hog and Hominy, and I'll save the other one for later. Um, With Hog and Hominy, she used to go there on her birthday every year and get the Thunderbird 40 twice, which she wrote as 4040. Right. Um, Maybe she she got the Thunderbird 40 with a 40. (laughs) <laughs> and really like paired it nice. up. I've never seen the 40 on the menu, but if pizza and beer works, so. pizza and malt liquor probably works. Yeah, just a warm Old English 800. At mm, least when I was in high school. A Thunderbird Colt 45 <laughs> or whatever. Actually, junior high. Uh, so Natalie's number four. We started our round robin with Natalie, but her number four was Little Italy, which we yes. now already talked about. So what was your number four, Eric? My number four was Little Betty. Is that, okay. Isn't it Little Betty? It's Little Betty. Yeah, Little at, Betty. At the at Wiseacre. And it's really good, but to me it's different. I mean, you can tell it's Andrew Michael Pizza. It's not quite as – it's more of like brewery, really good brewery pizza where like Hog and Hominy is like really well thought out. Right. Carefully prepared. You know, Andrew and Michael, their best kind of pizza. So I, I really like Little Betty, but I think of it as a little bit more – that is refined. Less upscale. So, Less upscale. I have Little Betty at number one. I, you little, do? Okay. Little Betty, Interesting. What Little Betty describes itself as, at least it did when it opened. I don't know if they still stick to this. They describe themselves as New Haven style pizza. And I, I've eaten pizza in New Haven, including recently. Uh, New Haven's a famous pizza town. I don't know if I would call it New Haven style pizza, but that's what yeah. they call it. But it's a, you know, it's a crisper crust than New York pizza. Um, so you cooked really hot and you get yeah. a more of a crispy kind of kind of crust. And what New Haven pizza is known for is the clam pie. Oh, right. And when right, right. Little Betty first opened, they had a variation of that on their menu, and it's since gone away. So I don't know how much of it it's really New Haven style, but it is, I think, different from other pizzas in Memphis. It's you had the big slice, but the but the, but the crisper crust. It does remind me because I lived in Connecticut and New York. Yeah. It, it is that kind of. I don't. I don't think I ever ate pizza in New Haven, but. It is more like that New England pizza that I remember. Yeah, it, I it's, it's, about that. it's inspired by that. And I talked to their pizza chef there at one point, and he had gone – the famous pizza place, there's three of them, three or four of them, but the most famous one is this place called Frank Pepe's. And they had not gone to Frank Pepe's, but they'd gone somewhere else in New Haven to sort of scout it out and get some ideas. Now, one thing they do at Frank Pepe's that I wish they would do at Little Betty, Betty if they want to do New Haven-style pizza, is during the peak summer, they do a fresh tomato pie. Oh. And it's just a basic cheese pizza – like not even with a sauce, just like a cheese pizza, just with chunks of fresh local tomato oh, that gets that. like caramelized in the oven. That Ooh, is so good. We need I a Ripley tomato pie at Little Betty. Ooh, I, I, I want to ask amazing. for that to happen. That would be amazing. Other thing I love about Little Betty is I think the environment's great at yeah, the brewery it's awesome. downtown. Very it's a cool. cool environment, and you have good beer. And like, what's more classic of a combo than beer and pizza? Right? Yeah, yeah. I, and they've got like a good salad. I mean, they've got a couple other things. Yeah. I mean, it's not like blow you away salad, but it's good. Salad. I mean, there's other stuff. It's you can both have casual it. and interesting. Yeah. It's become a place yeah. that we take people to from out of town a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. You had it tied with Hog and Hominy on yours. So what is your I Little did. Betty take? Oh, I love Little Betty. You got um, it as tied for one or tied for two? Tied for two. Tied, tied for, for two, two with Hog and Hominy. Now, Little Betty has, has a signature at this point, too. It's not quite at maybe the red eye level, but they've had a continuity pizza since day one. It's called the Thud Butt. And that's yes. sort of become their signature. It's the Mortadella pizza it's got the stracciatella cheese like clumped yeah. in the middle. It's got some pistachio for crunch. Like that that stayed on the menu from day one. That's sort of become their signature, really there, which I think is great. Yeah. Yeah. Is right. little, little Betty figure in, in Holly stuff? Uh, she she didn't mention Little Betty at all. all. Right. No Little Betty for Holly. Um, There's that. We, wow. All right. Let's – um. There must be a story there. <laughs> I'll ask. Oh, she forgot. She's she might In a remote forgot. location. Um, so Little Betty was number four for Eric, um, number two, tied for two for Natalie, number one for me. My number four, I'm guessing, shows up nowhere on anyone's list, and I'm going to call it a three-way tie. It's basically number four it, for me is Memphis-style pizza, which you can find at either Broadway, Fox Ridge Pizza, or X-Lines. Oh, yeah. And that is like this Memphis, similar to Chicago Tavern pizza. It's like you know cut into rectangles. It's sort of a thick crust. Um, and to me, the key 
you can't just get any kind of pizza on a Memphis style. You have to have sausage on it because it needs that sort of weightiness to it. It's not for all tastes. I don't eat it very often. It's like a once or twice a year thing for me. How but could you? It's I like so them. heavy. I, I haven't had X-Signs in a long time, but right. it is like Broadway pizza. And I've never had Fox Ridge yeah, pizza. They're, they're all, but I don't, I get, yeah. There's, a, a, there's an etymology thing. or, or an, and yeah. this is something I should probably write about, but I don't know what the origin of all that is, but it's basically the same style at these three places. And I think, you know, people don't, if there's a Memphis style pizza, that's it. Yeah. The problem is that Memphis style pizza is not enormously popular in Memphis. But I like it. I, but I gotta have a pepperoni sausage. I gotta but have lots of sausage. Those places are very popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. And they've been around forever, and so they're popular with somebody. Yeah, no, they are. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, my, or maybe I misunderstood. My, you. <laughs> my, my, no, well, my guess, which I think my guess is accurate, is that it's not on your list. It's not on Natalie's list. I bet it's not no. on Holly's list either. No, yeah. Uh, but I, I like it. No, it's not on Holly's list. I just don't care for that. Kind no, of pizza. I know that's what I'm that that crust is too thick for me. It feels like. A casserole, almost. I don't know. It's it's just too much. You get a large like sausage and pepperoni from Broadway. That's like a week's worth of eating, basically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'll tell another story about uh, my girlfriend Leslie, who really we're going to have to have on at this point because every time I come we on, have she to. knows way more about food. But uh, she, and she listens to this and she's like, "Oh God, stop talking about me." But uh, or she didn't totally respond that way. One of our early dates when we've been dating for a while, and we'd eaten out a lot, and we went to Broadway Pizza, and I hadn't been there in forever, like. 20 years or something like that. And, and she, as she would tell the story, she never seen me really, really eat. Like normally I, <laughs> right. eat, I've heard this story the, yeah, that we, I eat kind of light, you know, yeah. and whatever. But I was like, well, if I'm going to Broadway pizza, I'm ordering. So I order Light's like not my, an option. No, I'm <laughs> right. ordering. So I ordered a whole like pepperoni pizza for myself, then got wings and got something else and right. ate all of it. And she was like, I didn't know you could do that. Go, oh yeah, I could do that every day. I'm just not going to, but this, that was a place that, and I haven't been back since, probably, because yes. yeah. I'll do that if I go to a place like that. The okay. Memphis style pizza, not for light eating. Not for light eating. That's my, my number four. I'm alone on that one. Natalie, you're number three. We haven't gotten to yet, apparently. I know. It's Aldo's. Okay. And I can't believe y'all oh, haven't yeah. said that yet. I have Aldo's at number yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love both locations. I Actually, my whole family does. You have Aldo's on your list. I totally forgot about Aldo's. That's a, that's an oversight. So I'm gonna I'm gonna. Honorable it would be it would Eric. be three four. It okay. would totally be three four for me. I, I really like their pizza. All right, basic so, but like really good. Sorry. So Natalie, yeah. go Aldo's. Tell me about it. Okay, I love both locations very much. At our old office, Aldo's was not that far of a walk for yeah. a great lunch spot. I love going for lunch and getting like a slice with a salad and they're huge slices. Like yeah. one slice of pizza yeah. from all those is a meal. But they're also, I don't know about the downtown location, but the one in Cooper Young is very kid friendly. Let me say that again. It is so kid friendly. Yeah. And my kid loves the pizza. And it's right by the Children's Museum. This tells you a lot about my life, but here yeah. we are. And yeah. it's really good pizza. And the, you're talking about the one on Cooper or Young, Cooper. Cooper Young, on, yeah, 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 Cooper, Cooper Young neighborhood. Yeah, Cooper Young neighborhood by Memphis, Maine. The upstairs is really cool. There's very a cool, cool patio. Balcony. Just a very cool like, balcony. You um, never roof, get yeah, that's even right. to be on the second floor in Midtown is kind of a big deal. Yeah, no, because you never and it's you're like, wow, I'm up here and I can kind of see things and it's cool. It, it is really cool. I like that place. People are great. What's great your order? Staff. Depends on who I'm with. Okay. When it's a family outing, we just it's the meat one. It's right. got like pepperoni, sausage, whatever. Right. Um, but if I'm alone or with other people, I'll get something a little more interesting. They have some interesting specialty pizzas. They have some poblano cream chicken thing, and they have like a shrimp that's kind of a spicy thing. Mm -hmm. Neither of which is my order. But Eric, all those, what, what's your? Oh, it would be the margarita cheese kind okay. of thing. Yeah, it'd be the plain one. Okay, no one's mentioned my thing. I think, and the reason Aldo's is up to number two on my list, and mm -hmm. I actually we got we had takeout from Aldo's a few weeks ago. We had friends in town from St. Louis. They came over to the house, and we got we got a, a big a large pepperoni because that's what sort of the kids wanted, and I always want pepperoni. But we got a large vodka pie, and I think the it's vodka really pie there is great. It's my favorite sort of cheese pizza in Memphis, and it's distinctive, and no one else does anything quite like that mm -hmm. that I know of. And yep. I just think it's really good. I think it's one of my favorite, probably, you know, it's, it's somewhere on my not too short list, but somewhere on my list of like favorite Memphis dishes, recurring dishes I have. Mm. The vodka pie from Aldo's is high on my list. I don't know list. why I don't order that there. Because I really like it. Yeah. That's a weird one that I just like, you just get in a habit and you don't do that. Uh, anyway. Yeah. And we used to go to, to the downtown one a, a decent amount with our kids. You see, it's nice you sit there and see like, you know, the trolleys or the horses or whatever. We haven't done that in a long time. So we're more midtown at this point. But, even, you know, again, like three weeks ago, we got to take off from there. It was great. Vodka yeah. pie, Aldo's. Very yeah. good. 
So Auto's number three for Natalie, number two for me. It would have made Eric's list if he had remembered. Yeah, I, I w- I'm going to re-rank and put that at four. It's like three, four. Yeah. We're, we're, Wait, okay. Who did you kick We're going to call it an honorable mention. <laughs> well, because I had a, I had... My three is no longer in business. Um, okay. <laughs> right, so we'll, we'll, so we're we'll going that, to that, that now. So, I, you know, if they had a shuffle. We're that, going to that now. What's your number three? My three was, rest in peace, Trasimino. Oh. I love Trasimino. Rest in peace. It was my number two when we did the list yeah, last time. So, I, I left mean, it. I still love that style of, yeah. you know, the wood-fired, very thin, very light pizza. Yep. I, I just, I still, and I live in Crosstown. So, I walk by the sign. 18 times a day and literally lament that it's not there. It was my second favorite pizza, but it was the pizza I ate the most because yeah, I lived in the, the street, neighborhood. Yeah. Right. And uh, did you have a, did you have a, a go-to kind there? You know what I'm going to say? It was the base. <laughs> the, the <margarita. laughs> the I, but like, then I would eat something else. Cause like I would eat whatever anybody else was ordering. They too, had a but. good, I can't remember what they called it. It was like some chef's thing, that, like their specialty thing. that was a pancetta based pizza. I thought was good. But the one I found myself getting a lot, well, they called it the Nona. It was a grilled chicken and asparagus pizza, actually. Hmm. It was quite yeah. good. Um, oh, did, you ever, did you eat, you ate Trasimino's? I did. And on my list, I had a little special RIP to it. One of the coolest things about Trasimino's was you never had to leave your seat to order. Like, oh, yeah. you, you <laughs> ordered from your – I mean, I guess in most places you don't have to leave your seat to order. But you could do it from your phone right. like, with the little um, QR code on the yeah. table. Yeah. Just you need another glass of wine. They had a real attractive like, pizza oven there like behind the counter you could see. I, I Do you know what the future of that space is? I mean, I, I know they're – when when Sabine shut it down, she said there were prospects for somebody going in, right. but that was God, that was almost a year ago now, right? To me, more I than thought, a year ago, right? Yeah, yeah. To me, I thought that you know, I don't, I, I don't know, I can't speak to the the success of businesses in, in the crosstown, but conceptually, I thought that was the best fit of any of the restaurant stuff there. I, I, I think agree. They really s- bluntly they suffered from the reputation of the place that preceded yes. them. People complain about that place because some, that they were to some just degree like, fairly, to some degree unfairly. Yeah, that but, was yeah. just really uneven. It could be good. It yeah, could yeah. be just be chaotic. Right. And then Sabine came in. And Sabine, who who uh, runs Global, yes, it became much more consistent. It, it yes. became much more consistent. But I feel like they never kind of got past that reputation. It's also, I would say, and I don't know if this was part of the business. That's tough pizza to get for takeout because it doesn't hold the heat. And if you're but a pizza not if you place, live in the building. Even in the building, okay, going upstairs, really? we'd get upstairs and you'd be like, oh, I got to reheat that. Well, I mean, this is, this that is a note I have for Little Betty, even though I had it at number one. It's a different thing if you get it to go than if you eat there. I've got it oh, to really? go a couple times and coming all the way back to Midtown. Um, and it doesn't hold up as well. That's yeah. a real eat it there pizza. Yeah, the, the Trasimino thing didn't. I mean, did you ever get it take out to your house? I did. And it, it worked fine, but not as well. Yeah. I mean, you would be. It worked better than a little bit. So I think those travel. two things really better than a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Because the crust is a little, the crust is a softer crust. But there. it's yeah. also closer to your house than that, little that's Betty would be. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not yeah. Taking, I wasn't taking it very far. I'm taking it like yeah. five minutes. But I, I just always think that that maybe was part of it. That that's pizza is tough to do, and people might be disappointed. It might come home, come there cold. You know what I mean? It just anyway. So it was worth it. Rest to in me. peace. Trash so delicious. so I didn't do trust me. It was on the list because it doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> well, fair. But, that's fair. But my number three, and this will be the last of my five that we mentioned. I still we still have the number ones for you guys. I don't know what they're going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, the Number three on my list is a is a Trasimino's memorial pick, one that didn't make my list last time because of Trasimino's. So I'll put it up there now. I actually haven't been there in a long time, so hopefully it holds up. But that's a Chow Baby in Cairoville, which oh. is was actually the same owners as the place that preceded Trasimino's. Right, and people Down. love that place. Yeah, and yeah. it's it, it is your classic yeah. Neapolitan, like quick cook, doughy kind of crust uh, yeah. Neapolitan pizza. And as far as I know, and maybe there's something I don't know about, it's probably the best like classical Neapolitan style pizza in town still. But it's way out in Cairoville, way out for me. If you live in Cairoville, yeah. it's not way out for you. Yeah, you know, right. lucky you can walk just go down the street. But for me, I don't get there that often because it's so far out relative to where I live. But that's what I got at number three. Okay, I've never been there, but if yeah, I I'm, ever I'm, go that far out. Maybe I'll try it. So I got no idea what the number ones are going to be for you guys. Natalie, what's your number one? There's no way my number one is on either of your lists, and that's fine. And I hope you'll consider it for the future. It's Brooklyn Bridge. They oh, have okay. such good pizza. These are big, thin crust. <laughs> yes. Right? And delicious flavors, I guess I'm you would say. Um, and they do a special on Monday night where they're, I think they're like half off. But when we want like a special pizza to celebrate something, or we've had like a really hard weekend, I guess, or last week was bad, we'll get a pizza from Brooklyn Bridge along with other things that we love from there to go with it. Brooklyn them. Bridge is out 
Poplar. It's Kirby and Poplar. Poplar. Kirby and Poplar. Yeah, it's okay. close to that Kroger that's right there. It, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, 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 yeah. It's almost. I've been there a long time. Not, yeah. I wouldn't call it a strip of, mall exactly, but it's, it's in a building in that corner. has other stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. It's like a little New it's Orleans a cozy, style. It's a cozy, like family Italian restaurant kind of vibe. Very yeah. cozy. I would say like no frills or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But all their food's good, not just the pizza. But since we are talking pizza, I love their pizza. All right, Eric. What is your number one? My number one is uh, the Hustle and Dough Bar Hustle Pizza. So, okay. That's a good one. This I, is one I still haven't gotten. So, I need to well, do this. Well, and it's, you know, they're, they're rebooting. I think they do you reopened have a, the Do you have a notion bar. when their hours are, when the pizza is available? No, because they, 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 I guess they had sort of management chain changeover. They closed the bar for two months. It, I believe, has reopened, and there's some food that's back, but they haven't brought the pizza back. And it's just, I mean, hustle and it's hustle and dough and bar hustle, depending on the time of day you go there. Hustle and dough has incredible bread, incredible yeah. pastries. It's so good. So it's that same person or that right. same, like, it's, I think it's the same sourdough that you can get by the loaf. And they use that a version of that as the crust. And it's just so dang good. And it's a, I want to call it, you know, it's a, it's, it's heavy. I mean, you only maybe want one but or two. But this is of something that's only available. We don't know exact hours, maybe, but it's only a nighttime thing. It's not you know, even a normal lunch thing. hours. Yeah. They, the bar, like before the reboot, which isn't complete, the bar would open about 4 30, yeah. and the food was that food was available there, like the pizza. This is my I don't problem. Know if it was in seven days a week. But I'm like actually in that space fairly frequently, but it's always in the morning or middle of the day. Right. And so so, I, so I've gotten many, many countless pastries and coffee from there, but oh, I've never yeah. been there at night to get the pizza. Yeah. No, I've been guilty of going there in the afternoon for coffee. And sticking around to like, pizza And start? getting like avocado toast. One of the really good right. things. And then just working and working and working. And then like, well, I might as well get a glass of wine. And then Leslie's like, do you want to get dinner at Bar Hustle? And I'm like, that sounds like a great idea. And then we eat pizza there. So I've had like three meals, coffee, and like cocktail hour there more than once in my life. All right. We've only got a and couple And enjoyed minutes. every part of it. We've only got a couple minutes left. Oh, Let's yeah. get to, I have honorable mentions. I'm sure we all do. But what are some Holly favorites that haven't come up? Um, Holly's, it sounds like her number one was Garibaldi's. Um, I like Garibaldi's. That's on my honorable mentions list. It's a good basic, that's like basic old school Memphis pizza parlor kind of stuff. It is. And she said it's not super thin or thick, just a regular medium crust pizza. Well done. Hits the spot when you're craving classic old school pizza party pizza taste. And yeah, yeah, yeah. that's pretty spot on. If you want to go local and not do like pizza hut Domino's kind of stuff, like Garibaldi's is like the Memphis it's almost like QEs or that kind of, you know. Agreed. Right. Yeah. yeah. So what else? Um, on Holly's list. Yeah. She also mentions Venice Kitchen. So I went there recently for the first time. The building is strange to me. <laughs> Super strange. <laughs> it's really weird because I'm there all the time. I'm at, you know, I was a Davis kid. Laurel Wood books out novel. I'm like three places back. <laughs> I know. I'm at the bookstore all the time. <laughs> My son does guitar lessons at School of Rock right there. So I'm there all the time. And I, I just look at the building and say, well, this looks odd. But I finally went and it was good. It was kind of weird inside, but it was crowded, popular. Pizza was good, but pizza did not make my list. Yeah, I, I feel like the same pizza. way. Yeah, the pizza is good. If I'm there and I have that pizza, I will enjoy it. And it, it used to go by a different name, right? Has it always well, been it, Venice Kitchen? Well, in Oxford, it's called Old Venice Pizza Company oh. or something. I think this is connected to that. Okay. Oh, interesting. Well, Anything else on her list that we haven't talked about? Yeah, she mentions Bertolo's, um, which is a chain that we have a location for. Oh, that's the for. new Chicago-style pizza thing, yeah. It is. It's in East Memphis off of, um, I guess it's like kind of near White Station and Poplar. Um, so she mentions Rotolos. She also mentions Rock and Dough, which used to have a location yep. at Poplar and They're Highland. Coming back to the Edge District, yeah, they are, but they still have a location. They still in have yes, Germantown or Carterville, right. and they're also a brewery. Yeah, no, I look, I look forward to re-engaging yeah. with them when yeah, they yeah. get get back deeper into the city. Because I used to go to they had the location out at Poplar Highland. I used to go there some. Um, anything else from her, real quick? We're sort of running out of time. Yeah, she's got. Um, Tamboli's on here. Tamboli's it, which, is one of my honorable yeah, mentions. It's honorable on mention. my list as something I've never tried, but from what I've seen, I'm pretty sure I would like it. Yeah, and I. It's we, good. We, it's good. It's a little heavy. I mean, yep. it's 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 kind of a. Little it's thick. not a super thin yeah. crust. It's more of a mid size, and and the yeah. edges are kind of thick. Yeah. yeah, but it's 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 really good. Definitely honorable mention. It's a good double pepperoni pizza there. Uh, it's a cool, nice little vibe. Like if you actually go eat in the restaurant, you may want a pasta. It may be more even more of a pasta place than a pizza place, but That's the pizza is good. Kind of what yeah. I thought too. Yeah. Right. Any other honorable mentions? No one's mentioned Memphis Pizza Cafe. I, like I eat Memphis a lot. I, I like it. I, I eat I, it yeah. more than any other pizza, right, which right, you would right. think it's my favorite, but it's based solely on location. It's good pizza. <laughs> yeah. I like that they make their own ranch. What's it, your order? 
uh, I like the Cajun chicken that they do. So Holly mentioned, I think on her list, she likes to do the Cajun chicken minus mushrooms plus feta. I don't do that. And she's really speaking my language because when I go to Pyro's (laughs) and it's the symbol your own, that's basically what I create is a Cajun chicken feta situation. Well, I either get the Cajun chicken or the buffalo chicken. I like the alternative. I like to add Um, add Italian sausage to the alternative at Memphis Pizza Cafe. Yeah. That was my order was the alternative. Not surprisingly because it's really basic. All right. We're (laughs) pretty much out of time. Any last honorable mentions before we're out of here? Yeah. uh, I just want to say that Holly mentioned Mary's boat is going to have um, B O T E B O T E yes uh, a pizza at their tropical bar. She says the words. This is where she used pizza hunt, but she meant hut. Pizza hunt. The words pizza hunt, personal pan pizza were thrown around. I don't know what the style will be. I'm happy to try it. Well, I think our pizza hunt has now ended. Uh, we, we bagged plenty of winners to bring home. Um, so everyone, go out have some pizza. Let us know what your favorites are. Um, thank you to Natalie and Eric for joining in and Holly, our uh, roving reporter, for writing in. This has been Soundbites, and we'll talk to you next week. Mm-hmm.